Okay, so today I have Courtney Bruce, captain of West Coast Fever with me. Thanks for joining me today, Court. Thanks for having me, Joe. Good. I noticed that you're sitting in your new house there. Congratulations on your new house. Thank you. I feel like a real adult. Not sure how I, how I got here, but I'm excited. Yeah, well, welcome to the world of mortgages. It's a great place to be and it certainly does make you feel like you've grown up. So you're working from your home office. I'm working from my home office. Um, you live on your own, I'm yeah. guessing. Yeah, yeah. So you won't get an interruption. Anything could happen for me with three kids in the house. So let's see where let's see where this goes. This could, anything could happen right now. So I asked you to join me today because we're living in a, a different world. We're living in a uh, a new arrangement, new way of being, and particularly for for me and my work, and obviously what you do as an athlete everything's pretty much changed. You guys can't train, you can't play, um, everything's in isolation and, and doing a team sport, that's got to be hugely different for you. So tell us what, I guess, what's, what's changed for you and, and what challenges you're facing in this new world? Yeah, so I guess, yeah, like you said, we can't train with the group, so we're training from home um, and it's, yeah, it's different. Um, I probably didn't realise how, um, how much I love being around the girls. I think I knew that, but how much I thrive off their energy. So not necessarily having them there to push me or I guess make me be a better player. So that's, that's been interesting having to challenge yourself um, from home. But I guess it's been good. We've been posting challenges to each other and find different ways to make it competitive still. Um, I guess so are you guys having like competitive challenges via Zoom or Skype or whatever you're using? Yeah, Jess has been leaving us um, some challenges every week. Last week, I think we all nearly died doing it. Um, it was a nice um, on the minute, six rounds, absolutely horrible, brutal. Don't want to do it again. Um, this week, the challenge is on the cow on the salt bike so for some calories. So we'll see how we go with that one. I might tap out of that one because that one's going to be very tough. Um, but yeah, There's really I guess no that's... hiding, is there? Everybody knows you're at home, so exactly. no um, hiding from it. No, um, but I guess, yeah, I've still been lucky being able to do Pilates, the thing that keeps me quite sane and, um, yeah, feels like I'm still doing netball stuff um, through that. But, yeah, it's just been different adapting to not having, yeah, the girls around me more than anything. So as a leader and, you know, being the captain of the team, does that put an extra burden of responsibility do you feel on you to make sure that people are feeling okay to make sure that people are engaged in the group tell us a little bit about how it is for not only you you know you've talked a little bit about what you have to do from an exercise point of view but how does that change as a leader yeah I think it changes a lot I think um, naturally I check in quite a bit with the girls but um, I guess I've been checking in more so, um, I think it, it's probably brought us a bit closer. I think when we're just the netball, it's maybe that we just, we're there, so we go and hang out after. We talk about netball where I guess at the moment we're being forced to pick up the phone um, or engage in different ways. So I think you're also getting to know the person away from the court a lot better. So I think that's been good. So yeah, just being able to um, reach out in a different way, whether it's via Zoom, we, we love the house party app, um, even it's just picking up the phone and having a call. But yeah, I guess just checking in and seeing how everyone's doing. I guess we're in, we're actually on a two week break at the moment um, from the league. So starting next week, we'll be back um, on seven hour weeks. So we'll have more commitments to the club via things like Zoom and that. But at the moment, just for me, it's yeah, just checking in, seeing how everyone's doing. Obviously we've got two internationals. So they're in a completely different boat to all of us. And we also have girls that aren't from Perth. So just checking in and seeing how they're doing away from family. But I like the challenge of having to find a different way to, to connect and engage with each other. So I think um, as much as it's hard not being around each other, it's also fun to see how much we can challenge and interact with each other um, using um, the amazing technology that we do have available. And how does it feel? Because um, I guess a lot of kids out there have had their weekend and social sports and competitive sports taken away from them. How does that feel to know that you're not sure about when the season will start and all of those kind of things and when you're going to get back to it? So there's a level of uncertainty here. How do you deal with that? And what tips and advice do you have to deal with those kind of things and that kind of thinking? Yeah, I think that's the thing I probably struggled with in the first little bit was um, I think um, as my, many people were so used to having a routine and knowing what we're going to do and what's coming up and that was literally just taken away from us in 
less than 24 hours, which was just confronting and confusing. But um, I guess for me, I'm just seeing it as another challenge in a way that um, there's obviously things that I want to work on that in a full netty season or a pre-season, I don't have the time to do. So um, for me at the moment, really working on, um, I guess, yeah, those little things or those um, deficits that will make me a better player when we get the opportunity to play. So yeah, for myself, I'm working hard on my Pilates to make me a stronger, more, more robust player. And I have the time to do that now, which is exciting. Um, and just setting myself little challenges. So I know I was saying to you the other day, I really want to learn how to headstand and handstand. Um, I want to be able to throw a bullet pass on my left hand like I can off my right. So I think um, as much as it's disappointing and there's so um, much uncertainty, I'm trying to use it as more just like a exciting time to challenge myself to be a better player once that time comes around. And I think anyone can do that, whether you're a little net set goer learning how to play, you can throw the balls with your mum and your dad or whatever it may be to, yeah, us at this level where, um, yeah, I'm trying to find that little thing that's going to make me a better net bowler and a better defender and leader and everything like that. So I'm embracing the extra time that we do have. Yeah, and I like those little tips for little netballers out there. They can actually get outside and, you know, pass with both hands and learn all of those kind of things, the stronger pass, those kind of things too, as well as running around the garden. You know, those short spaces can build up your aerobic capacity. So there's lots of things we can be doing from our physical and our skill perspective. Let's switch a little bit and, and go to my favourite topic and talk a little bit about mental skills. What sort of things have you been working on in terms of mental skills or what sort of things can you do when we're in this situation of isolation? There goes the traffic. I did say the outdoor office would be challenging. What mental skills are you working on um, from home? How are you doing that? Yeah, I was thinking about this, this this morning. I think one of my challenges, and I kind of raised it before, was that um, not um, necessarily like being able to push myself, but kind of that real... Um, individual mentality of having to train by yourself I think um, we obviously I play a team sport and I love um, that I have nine other girls and coaches to push me to be better where at the moment you have to find that real internal motivation um, except instead of having that external which is what you have in a team sport so I think that's been a good one for me to see how much I can continuously push myself not knowing knowing that there's not anyone watching me that I have to do it all on my own but I guess my motivation there is that I'm doing it for that opportunity that we will get to play a season at some point um and then I guess I've just been using um the Headspace app a lot I think that these times can be really unsettling and um, we don't have a lot of clarity and um, we're adapting to a new way of doing things whether that's work or uni or life in general so yeah just using the Headspace app to find some time to meditate and um you know make sure that i'm getting enough sleep and those kind of things um because i know that yeah if i can absolutely nail those things now um if we get the green light to go ahead in four weeks then i know that mentally i'm going to be ready to go and i won't be on the back foot so continuing to do a lot of the things i would normally do um in the season but i think just um making sure that i'm fine-tuning the way that i do do things um yeah, knowing that I've got time to test a few things out too. And that's a good point that you make is that at some point this will we'll get through this mm -hmm. and being ready is really important. So using this time as like a, and Stace and I talked about it yesterday, Stace Marinkovic, is it's kind of like having an injury. It's where you can't do everything that you would normally do and you know a little bit about that. Can't do what you normally do. So you use this time understanding that you will be back at some point and keep doing something and developing new skills or using those things that you can use. So it's a good point. What, for people listening, what's your piece of advice? What tip could you give on dealing with the, the boredom that perhaps exists or being out of routine? Have you got some tips that I guess specifically have helped you adjust? So you say you're in a new place where you've adjusted. What tips have you got to get into your routine or plan your day? Yeah, so I've been writing a list every morning of things that I would like to get done that day. So just, I think, seeing the list and I guess it, it gives me some goals for the day. So just being able to tick those off. Um, but also just sticking to the routine. We normally train in the morning. So um, trying to train within that 8 to 10 period. Um, and then having a scheduled and then going to uni. So not 
really mixing it up much more than what we would normally do. I think um, elite athletes um, love uh, a schedule and a routine. Um, so I'm just trying to keep that um, routine there um, for myself. It makes me feel a lot more comfortable and, and clear in what I wanted to get done for the day. Otherwise, I think I'd just sit on the couch and watch Netflix. Um, but also just um, making fun challenges out of things. So, um, you know, I've got a, a nice wall I can throw a ball at um, and just making challenges. Yeah, I want to hit that X on the wall a hundred times. Um, and I think, yeah, those little challenges are making me feel a lot more just clear and calm and feel like I'm ticking something off and not being lazy. Um, but yeah, my main tip would just to be, yeah, have a list. Um, yeah, get the, tick the things off that you've done. And if you don't do it that day, it carries on to the next day. But yeah, that and then just maintaining as much of a routine as you can, whether, um, as we were talking about the other day, whether you go to school and you make sure that you um, FaceTime your friends at lunch and recess, um, so you keeping that same kind of routine you'd have at school. Um, same for us. Yeah, we train 8 to 10 and then in the Arvo. So, yeah, maintaining that schedule. Great advice. Courts, as always, great things for young netballers to hear for when they come out of this isolation situation and of course getting the balance right throwing in some netflix or some facetime and some social time really really important great to spend some time with you this morning virtually and appreciate it and good luck i hope i hope to see you back on court real soon love it thanks jared thanks courts